uh, I thank you for minding the Lord. Amen. Appreciate your pastor. Let me say this before I get into preaching tonight. Um, a couple of things just here quickly. Um, encourage your pastor. I can say this. I can say this about a lot of preachers, and I assume this is the case, but I can say this about your pastor, and I know this is the case. He loves his church deeply. And uh, I've watched him put everything up to side to be able to care for the church. And I know you know that, but I want to remind you of it one more time. I ask you, encourage the pastor. Preacher, how do we encourage the pastor? There's two ways you encourage the pastor. Two ways you can encourage the pastor more than anything else you can do. He appreciates your generosity, your giving. He appreciates the kind words you say to him on the way out. All that's good, needful. But if you want to encourage your pastor, be faithful. Yeah. That's how you encourage your pastor. Be faithful and let him see you get so full of God that yeah. you can't help but just yes, express sir. it somehow. Amen. 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 That's right. Amen. What I'm saying is don't sound like a wooden Indian. Bless me. You ever seen it? You know what this means? Yeah. Bless me if you can. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Encourage your preacher. Amen. 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 Help him along the journey. Amen. Amen. He'll never ask for it. You'll never see it on his face. But he needs it. So encourage him. Encourage him. Amen. Psalm chapter number 40. Thank you, Pastor. I'm honored to get the privilege to come and preach. I hope I can help us. I will say this on the outset of the message. I cannot put together an outline. I struggled for several days, and, and uh, it's the strangest thing. I know the text, and I know the title. I know I'm where I need to be, but I just can't get it into an outline. So it'll be very simple tonight, and uh, yeah, just try to help us a little bit with the Word of God. Amen. And uh, I will say this, uh, from Kenny, from what I've seen of, our, of, of my church and of other churches, this is a very needful subject. Yeah. Uh, and I hope I can help us tonight. Okay, so Psalm chapter number 40, and uh, we'll just pray and ask the Lord to bless us. Our Father, thank you, Lord, for the privilege to be in the house of God one more time. Thank you for the good fellowship, the good spirit of God we feel around this place, Lord, the smiles on the faces of your children, God. And, the overflowing hearts that we can feel, we appreciate it. Thank you for the good singing and the devotion of our singers, Lord, and their willingness to want to sing, glorify you. We thank you for that. Thank you for this dear man of God. Thank you for these dear people, Lord, and especially this hour, this time, this privilege we have to be together, Lord. We thank you for it. We don't take it for granted. And Lord, we're very, very mindful of how much we need the Spirit of God to guide our hearts and help us. Lord, bless us in our time here together tonight. Lord, let us go in the right direction, say the right words, think the right thoughts, and get the right kind of help, Lord. God, I pray you bless us and meet with us tonight. We need a touch of God. For that one that's lost, that they may come to know you before it's everlasting too late. Lord, for that one that's wayward, that perhaps this would be a glorious evening that come to make things right with you. Lord, for those that have carried a heavy burden this week, that they might get some help and some grace to help in this time of need. Lord, and then especially for the preaching time and this message that you give us. Lord, I pray it's all that it can be for the glory of God. May the devil find no place of influence. Lord, I pray God for clarity of thought and clarity of speech tonight. Let me preach what thus saith the Lord. Give me power, I pray, Lord, that you may be glorified. Thank you for what you've done for what you're going to do. In Jesus' precious name, amen, amen. and amen. amen. I want to read the entire chapter, but I want to read it out of order. I know that seems strange. I'm going to go very slow because I don't want us to uh, get confused or anything. And it'll make sense when I get to the end of this, okay? So let me take my time and let's start in verse number 12. Psalm 40 and verse number 12, he said, Innumerable evils have could pass me about. Now, can I get a witness on that? Amen. 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 Yeah. My iniquities have taken hold upon me so that I'm not able to look up. I'll say, can I get a witness on that? Amen. Amen. So you have two very different uh, parts of the life of this writer that he is suffering under. One is an outside evil influence. The other is an inside evil influence. Right. And he says, there are more than the hairs of my head that cannot be numbered. Therefore, my heart faileth me. Yeah. Now look in verse 14 and 15. Let them be ashamed and confounded together that seek after my soul to destroy it. Let them be driven backward and put to shame that wish me evil. Let them be desolate for reward of their shame that say unto me, aha, aha. I believe I can say I can get a witness right there yeah, too. Amen. 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 Yeah, I believe I'm looking at some people who've had some hard times this week, this yeah, month, yeah. this year. Stay with me. 
Number three, look at verse 17. He said, I am poor. I am needy. Amen. God help us. That's yeah. exactly where we're at. Verse 13. Be pleased, O Lord, to deliver. We need the Lord's deliverance. Amen. Amen. He said, be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. We need his help. Amen. Verse 11. Withhold not thy tender mercies from me. O Lord, let thy loving kindness and thy truth continually preserve me. Amen. Verse 1 and 2. Verse 3. He said, I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. And I say, Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. Yes. Amen. He brought me up out of a horrible pit, out of the mighty clay, set my feet upon a rock, and established my goal. Amen. And hath put a new song in my heart, excuse me, my mouth, even praise unto our God. Many shall see it in fear and shall trust in the Lord. You can see the change in direction, if you will. Yeah. Look at verse number six. Sacrifice and offering thou didst not desire. Can I tell you what he did desire? Somebody to lean on him and call out Amen. to him. Amen. Somebody Amen. to praise him. That's what Amen. God asked for. Yeah. My ears hast thou opened. Burnt offerings and sin offerings hast thou not required me. Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book that is written of me. And I understand there's some implication here to Christ. And I want you to take this just directly to us tonight. He says in verse number 8, I delight to do thy will. Wouldn't it be good if our churches were full of people that delight to do thy will? Oh my God, yea, thy law is within my heart. That is the prayer for my church, yeah. for myself, for my family, for my church. I have preached righteousness in the great congregation. Lo, I have not retained my lips. Oh Lord, thou knowest, I have not hid thy righteousness within my heart. I have declared thy faithfulness and thy salvation. I have not concealed thy loving kindness and thy truth from the great congregation. You see where I'm headed. Look at verse 16. Let all those that seek thee rejoice and be glad in thee. Amen. Let such as love thy salvation say continually, The Lord be magnified. Amen. Look at verse number 4. Blessed is the man that maketh the Lord his trust, and respecteth not the proud, nor such as turn aside the lies. So here's what you have. I believe with all of my heart, Brother Kenny, you have the Christian experience from the very first moment of salvation all yeah. throughout life, all throughout the troubles, the trials, the right. struggles, the yeah. issues, the problems, yeah. the iniquities, yeah. the evil, come, uh, evil things that come against us. I believe you have the entire, entire Christian experience recorded for us right here. And watch how he, what he has to say about it. Verse 5, this is the, the text I want to get into. He said, many... Many. You know what the word many means? It means an abundance. Yeah. It means a whole bunch. Amen. It means more than it can be accounted. A massive amount. Many. We ought to shout right there. Yeah. Many. Oh Lord my God are thy wonderful works. Many works which thou hast done. God did it. And thy thoughts which are to us were. The yeah. thoughts and the works of God to yeah. us were. Yeah. Many are they. Right. Amen. Back up a minute. Amen. Amen. He said, oh, yeah. I'm going to get real slow, man, this will help us. You know what O oh is? O, oh, and it's just an O oh this time, but sometimes it's O-H, oh, sometimes we put an H on it. You know what it is? It's an expl expl explanation yeah. to explain, yeah. to yeah. get excited. Right. It is a sudden proclamation of excitement. Amen. 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 I'll say this again in just a little bit. We get excited about everything else this world has, but we can't get excited about God. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Oh, Lord. You know what Lord is? That's the Hebrew word Jehovah. It means the self-existent one. The eternal one. That's our God. Amen. Oh, Lord. My God. He's my God. Amen. It shows possession and ownership. Yeah. He belongs to me. Amen. I belong to him, Brother Grant, but he belongs to me. Amen. He is mine and I am his forever. Amen. 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 God help us tonight. It's my Lord. Yeah. And you know what God means? Elohim. Yeah. The supreme God of all. Yes. That's who we serve. Amen. We don't serve a dead Jew tonight. Amen. 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 We serve a risen Savior. Amen. We don't serve a little Chinese dude on the shelf somewhere or another on a fat belly. We serve the God of all universe. The God of all. So you all looking like a cat in a new game. Man, I hope I can help y'all tonight. I hope I can get you to smile and rejoice in Jesus. Yeah. Just a little bit. We need it. We need it. Amen. So here's what I'm going to direct your attention to. He said, 
of the wonderful works which thou hast done. Thy thoughts which are to us work. They cannot be reckoned up in order unto thee. The word reckoned means to put them in a specific series. Right. To put them in a specific. There's so many and yeah. so massive and so indescribable. Yeah. We can't nothing. What's this thing? He said, if I would declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. Yeah. I can't even put a number on them. Yeah. Yeah. He said, those things that afflict me are more than the hairs of my head. Right. Amen. 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 Brother Mark, he said, those things that are against me, yeah. the outward evil influences and the inward evil I fight every day are, are so massive that they're more than the hairs of my head. Amen. But if the hairs of your head are numbered, yeah. is that right? right. Amen. Yeah. Now he's talking about the blessings of God and how good God is and what God's done. And he's like, I just want to let you know, those things are not numberable. They're yeah. more than what numbers can contain. Yeah. That's how good God's been. Yeah. That's how much God blessed us. Amen. Amen. So until you look at verse 17, I'll get going here into the message. He said, yet the Lord thinketh upon me. And watch this. Thou art my help and my deliverer. Make no tarry, oh my God. Many, oh Lord God, are thy wonderful works which thou hast done. Amen. So here's a simple title for the simple message. What shall we thank him for? Amen. I'll give you a couple things to think about. I say this about everywhere I go. We can thank him for the bread that we just took. Yeah. He gave it. Yeah. Amen. We can thank him for the heartbeat that we just experienced. Right. Yeah. Right. We thank him for the help to be here. We can thank him for this place. We can thank him for these people. Yeah. We can thank him for his presence Amen. among us. How'd you like to come to church without the presence of God? Amen. Wouldn't that be a mess? Yeah. We can thank him for the ability to gather with our families. We can thank him for all of his blessings and mercy. And we can start, we can go right on tonight and we can start number on that. And I promise you, I promise you, before very long, you'll find out the blessings of God are more than the stars in the Amen. sky and more than the waves in the yes, sea. Amen. Amen. Be numbered. Amen. Amen. But I'll ask you a question. Why are we praising him for those things? Amen. 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 You, yeah. Listen, you don't even have to be specific. You, you, don't, you don't have to, you don't have to, you just stand up and say, praise God for saving my soul. Yeah. Yeah. Thank God for his many blessings. Yeah. What shall we praise him for? Yeah. What shall we thank him for? Yeah. What shall we glorify him about? Amen. Yeah. I'll show you a couple of things that might get a hold of us and might help us just a little bit. Number one, I'm going to look back at verse number three. Excuse me, verse two. He brought me up out of a horrible pit, yes. out of the miry clay. Yeah. That can be reread as he brought me up out of the miry clay. Yeah. Could I say this tonight, preachers? We ought to be praising God that he saved us from the devil's hand. Right. Yeah. Do you know what the devil had designed for you prior to you meeting God? He had designed for you to remain in the sin you were in and let it take you down Amen. and take you out of this world. Yes. That's what the devil had designed for you. Right. That's what the devil had intended for right. you. That's what the devil had planned for you. Can I take it a little farther? That's what he had planned for your family. Amen. Hey, sir, that's what he had planned for your home. Yeah. Hey, pastor, that's what he had planned for your church. Yeah. He just won't let sin take you all the way down. Yeah. You know what mighty play he is? Clay, have you ever got, I know you've been, I don't mean mom and play, but I mean to play like you find down the river bank. Yeah. It's old nasty, stinky stuff. You get in it, and you're stuck. Yeah. Have you ever had your vehicle stuck in the mud, yeah. and you can't get out, and the more you try, the worse you yeah. get? Yeah. Some of y'all smell it because you have. Yeah. You know how you get out of that mud, and out of that mess, and out of that mire? You have to have somebody come along yeah. and throw you a life line. Yeah. Amen. 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 I'll tell you this. Several years ago, I think it's the first year we moved here. Now, I'll be honest with you, where we come, it's, it's out in the country like this, and we got narrow roads, but we ain't got no narrow roads like y'all got narrow roads. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and you take you take two full-size trucks out and pass on some of these roads, it's rough. Yeah. Somebody's going to be off the road. Somebody's going in the ditch. Yeah, Amen. Well, one morning I got ready, and I left, and I was coming out of bed when I got one of them cars, and I met somebody that he wasn't planning on going in the ditch, so I decided to. <laughs> I will never do it again. <laughs> I had to sit there and all the people coming by smiling and grinning. I'm thinking, hey, there's my church people here. I had to sit stuck in the mud. <laughs> Amen. They had to come along with a chain and a 
Lord help him, I was going to tell the truth in a Dodge truck, bless him. Oh, oh that Ford, I that mud, that mud that was in. Yeah. I wasn't yeah. getting out of there on my own. Yeah, right. It took somebody to throw me a life. Like, oh, yeah. right. I'm glad that God threw me a life by one yeah. day. Yeah. I'm glad that God threw the bell of my heart and said, this is sin, this is wrong, this is destruction, yeah. this is terrible, this doesn't end well. Yeah. Amen. He threw me a life by yeah. That pulled me up out of the miry clay and out of the sin and out of the transgression and out of the hole of the devil. The devil had me. Yeah. Yeah. He saved us from the devil's hand out of that miry clay. Amen. 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 Now, can I say this? Number two, what shall we praise him for? What shall we thank him for? He saved us from the devil's hand. But can I say number two, he sealed us from the damnation of hell. Amen. He said, he said he brought me up also out of a horrible pit. Amen. Now listen, you go home and study that any way you want to. And when you get to that phrase, horrible pit, when you look up the word pit, here's what it means. It means a deep, dark, depressing, loud place. Right. Amen. Yeah. What do you think hell is? Yeah. It's a deep, yeah. dark, depressing, loud place. Yes, sir. Full of the screams of the people. Right. That's been eternally doomed to that place. He didn't just save us out of that clutch of Satan that had us wrapped up in sin and wrapped up in confusion and wrapped up in deception. He saved us from that. Yeah. But he also saved us from damnation forever. Amen. Amen. You don't have to go to hell. Amen. 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 You're, you're saved today. You ain't going to hell. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. I had to tell me that one time. I can't say it the way he said it because it'd be cussing. I'm going to do that. But you understand what I'm saying? He told me that one time. I said, I couldn't if I wanted to. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I'm saved and going to heaven. Amen. 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 What shall we praise him for? Right. How about us get excited and praise him that right. he saved us out of our sin? That he saved us from eternal damnation? Yeah. How about us get excited about that? Amen. How about us praise him about that? Amen. How about us get thankful about that? Amen. What shall we praise him for? Yeah. Yeah. Those are a couple of things to praise him for. Amen. Amen. Lord help us. Let me, let me just get right down here where we're at for just a minute. Amen. Brother and sister, we'll go, we'll go to a public, we'll go out on a public place. We'll go to a ball game. Go ahead. Listen, I got some of my church. I appreciate it. I, I want you to be loud. I don't want you to be excited. Yeah. Amen. If, if, if Junior or, 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 or a little dollar score, amen. Have yourself a time, yeah. man. Yeah. Let out let the whole world know they belong to me. That's yeah. mine right there. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Help yourself. But we'll go out and do something like that and then come to the church and say, I am out. Yes. Won't say a word. Amen. Won't tweet. Won't do it. Yeah. Preacher, I'm just afraid. Can I say something to you? You mean to tell me you can go sit in a crowd of strangers that you don't know from Adam and shout and hoop and holler and then you come to church with like minded believers that love the Lord and you can't say, I love God? Amen. There's something wrong with that Christianity. Amen. I ain't trying to beat us yeah. over the head. I love us and I'm trying to help us. I hope you'll hear me. I hope you'll understand yeah. that there's something wrong with Christianity that won't let you praise God. Amen. 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 That's exactly right. Yeah. Amen. We'll go call the public scene. We'll go out public and call yeah. the big public scene. Come to church. We won't say a word. Y'all yeah. hear what I'm saying? Yeah. That's exactly right. Yeah. What shall we praise him for? I'm going to tell you something. I don't care if you think I'm a nut. You already think I'm a nut. That's all right. I don't mind. But I'm going to praise him. Yeah, amen. Amen. We're going to go to heaven. We're going to go to heaven. And then some of y'all are going to show up. And we're going to be up there shouting. And you'll go, well, I tell you, I guess I better get in there. Why don't you get out on it now? Right. Amen. Why don't you just go ahead and get in on it now? Right. Why don't you just go ahead and get in on it now? Amen. Amen. Yeah. Uh, Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. I, I was stir us tonight. Yeah. What shall we praise him for? Yeah. What shall we thank him for? Thank him for saving us out of our sin. Thank him yeah. for saving us out of the damnation of hell. And then can I say this? He goes on. He said, He has set my feet yeah. on a rock. Yeah. Now I'm going to give you point number three, but I'm, I'm going to give you something to think about first. The most discouraging thing I think this life has ever held for me is uncertainty. Right. Isn't that a discouraging thing? Yeah. We're talking about your health. Yeah. You go to a doctor and he said, he tell, listen, this blows my mind. You go to a doctor. They diagnose you and they say, this is what you got. 
This is the disease you have. Are you sure, doctor? One hundred percent. Not doubt my mind. Yeah. What are we gonna do about it? I ain't sure yet. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Now you figured out what I got, but you don't know what you're gonna do. Yeah. What am I paying you for? Amen. Right. Don't tell me the bad when I tell me what we're gonna do. Right. Amen. Yeah. We live in a world of uncertainty, do we not? Right. Right. Everything changes. Yeah. Everything's different today than it was tomorrow. Yeah. We don't have anything down here we can put our faith in. But there's one in heaven we trust right. in. Yeah. Yeah. There's a solid rock we can put our feet on that we yeah. can trust yeah. in. Right. What shall we praise him for? Let's praise him for saving us from the devil's hand. Amen. Let's praise him for saving us from the damnation Amen. of sealing us from the damnation of hell. Let's praise him for setting our feet on a foundation that's been designed on hold. Amen. 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 Right. You fellas ever built something? You ladies too? I don't know. Ladies might be building something. I don't know. Did y'all ever build something and you overbuilt it? Yeah. Have y'all ever done that? Yeah. I hate something that's underbuilt. I hate walking across the floor and being able to feel your feet moving. Amen. Amen. That's right. Fifteen more dollars and you could have made it solid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather overbuild it, overdo it, any day, so that my feet don't move underneath of me. Yeah. Amen. 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 I'm glad to tell you there's a solid rock this Bible talks about called God in heaven. Yeah. And if you'll let him, he'll save your soul, save you from your sins, and set your feet on that solid rock. Amen. 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 And you'll be established. Right. You'll be settled. Right. The world may not be settled. Right. Your friends may not be settled. Brother Ken, the family might not be settled. Right. But you'll be settled. Right. Amen. Right. I thank God there's something I can get settled about. Right. Amen. What shall we praise him for? Yeah. What we praise him about setting us on a foundation that was designed to hold. Yeah. Amen. He built that thing so it would be solid from the very beginning. Amen. 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 He put it together so you and I wouldn't have to worry about it. Right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. He made it in such a way that you could be sure in it. Yeah. That's something to praise him for. Amen. That's right. something to get excited about. Amen. That's something to holler praise unto God for. Yeah. Amen. 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 What shall we praise him for? Yeah. Number four. Can I say this very quickly? He said in verse number two, he set my feet on the solid rock, and watch what else. He established my goings. How about this one? We can praise him for saving us from the devil's hand. We can praise him for sealing us from eternal damnation. We can praise him for setting our feet on the foundation that was designed to hold. Amen. But another thing we might praise him for tonight is he has had it settled. The direction of our heart. Amen. Amen. He said he's established my goals. Yeah. Amen. You know, I remember before I got saved, my heart, when we took away my flesh, directed it. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. Here's what we think, preacher. We think the heart directs the flesh, but you'd be surprised how many times the flesh directs the heart. Yeah. 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 Right. Right. yeah. And my heart went whichever way the flesh desired. Yeah. The flesh runs the show. Yeah. Under the direction of the devil. Yeah. You know what I'm right. And uh, my heart went whatever direction it wanted to. But I met Jesus and he established my goals. Yeah. Yeah. The word established means that he has put it together. He's planned it out. Yeah. He's settled it right. for you. Yeah. Amen. And yeah. some people, listen, I got a Baptist song. We said, well, I don't know if I want anybody figuring out where I want to go. I sure do. Yeah. At 44, 70, 44 years old, I'm glad that other days want a whole lot higher than I was Amen. 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 I'm glad there's one a whole lot higher than I that's established my heart. Amen. 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 I'll say this while I'm here, y'all worry about having everybody anyway. For those of us that may not want the Lord to establish our goings, there's a problem with us. Yeah. Amen. If yeah. you're saved and belong to Him and we don't want Him establishing yeah. our own, there's a problem. Right. Yeah. There's a problem somewhere. Yeah. Young folks, if you claim to be saved and you can't let the Lord establish your goings, yeah. there's a problem somewhere. Amen. Yeah. 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 Establish means to set up, to direct. Watch this, it means that He planned it out a long time ahead. Yeah. Oh, right. He's planning it out now yeah. for the future. Amen. I don't know what tomorrow holds. Yeah. You heard this thing? I don't know what tomorrow holds, but I know who holds my tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Can I tell you this about the one who holds your tomorrow? 
He's establishing that they're going. He's working on whatever's going to need to take place tomorrow or whatever's going to happen the day after that. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Yes, sir. Oh. You know something to praise him about? Want something to lift up hands and hearts of praise and voices of praise unto him? How about praise about sell, about selling the direction of our heart? Amen. 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 God help us tonight. We got something to praise him about. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me move on to this one very quickly. Look at verse number 17. He said, I am poor and needy. And I'd say we can all probably agree with that. Yet, or in contrast to, I am poor and needy, yet. The Lord thinketh upon me. Hey. I want you to look back, if you would, please, just a little farther. He said in verse number five, Thy thoughts, which are to us, Lord. Could I tell you this very quickly? You're special to Him. Amen. 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 Now, don't you get what I'm saying now? You as an individual, and I don't mean you as a, a church as a whole, although that is the case. I'm not getting out. I'm trying to get to you as an individual. Right. You are special to him. He said in verse 17, that he think upon us. Verse number 5, his thoughts, which are to us. <clears throat> Look at verse number 1. I waited patiently for the Lord, and watch what he did. He inclined yeah. unto me, yeah. and he heard my Christ. Amen. Here's how special you are to him. You want something to praise him? What shall we praise him about? Yeah. What shall we show up at the family Thanksgiving dinner and say, well, glory to God. Amen. I got something I want to say. Amen. What shall we talk about? What subject matter? What shall we get down specifically to? I tell you this much, if nothing else don't stir you tonight, it ought to stir you to know that you as an individual, unique person, are special to him. Yes, special enough Amen. that he hears you when Amen. you cry. Amen. Special enough that he thinks about you 24 hours a day. Amen. Special enough that he inclines unto you. Do you know what incline means? Incline means to spread thyself before. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see if I can illustrate a little bit. Some of y'all got children. Don't you think back when they were young? And they all really, they still be young. Don't you think back if, they're, if, they're, if they got some age on them now? Don't you think back when they're three, four, five years old, they're just, just starting to get connected with the world around them. Just starting to develop a, a good dialogue. But Mark, like you remember when your children come in and they say, hey, daddy, hey, daddy, and you in the middle say, hey, daddy, hey, I'm talking to you. Daddy, listen to me, man. You remember you're in the middle of something. You try to get something done. Yeah. Right? Have you ever done this before? What you realize is they're so excited about whatever it is they're going to show or tell you that they're not going to quit until you listen. Yeah, right. And so here's what you do. You stop what you're doing and say, all right, tell me. Yeah. You ever done that? Right. Yeah, you may have. Yeah. I'm going to put everything I'm doing aside. Yes, right. Right. Now don't you talk to me. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm going to listen to anybody. Yeah. 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 You're so special to him. You say, preacher, how does he do that with everybody? Well, that's because he's God. He can do that with you and somebody else. Oh, right. Amen. Amen. Yeah. It doesn't matter what you're going through tonight. It doesn't matter what you're dealing with. It doesn't matter how big your problem is. He wants to spread himself before you and heal your problems. Right. That's what he climbed me. You want to know something to get excited about? You want to know something to praise him about? Let's get excited and praise him about how special we are to him. Amen. 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 Sometimes I tell you what we do. I think I'll just unhook right there. Sometimes I tell you what I think we do. I think we get so busy about being a Christian, so busy about being a good church member, so wrapped up in all the doings that we're supposed to do, that we completely forget yes. that we're supposed to be praising Him. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 What's this? Yeah. The same book of Psalms, 22nd chapter, says this. <clears throat> Preacher, it says that the Lord inhabited yes, sir. the praises of Israel. Yes, sir. In other words, the Lord inhabited the praises of his people. Yes, you know what inhabited means? Yes, sir. It means it takes up the residence. Amen. That's all you can have it something. That's right. To live there. Yes. Take up residence there. Do you know what our number one priority, or at least the top two or three, ought to be as Christians? 
from the moment we get saved until the time the Lord takes us to heaven. You know what it ought to be? Praise Him. Amen. 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 Yeah. Praise Him. Yeah. Right. Amen. Amen. That's right. I love my church, and they, they, they amaze me they, all the time. But I'm going there on Sunday morning, and I'll say, have a guy prayer request. And there's always something that's good we all have. We need more walk God. We all have a word to pray. And it's good. Yeah. But without fail, undoubtedly, over the last several years, I've noticed something. Every single time I say, do we have a prayer request? And I said, if it's all right, I just want to say thank the Lord. Amen. Amen. I just want to say praise him for answering prayer. Right. Praise him for helping me this week. <laughs> praise him for helping my family this week. I'll tell you something. We're supposed to be praising him. Amen. Amen. We want to ask him for stuff. How come we ain't praising him for stuff? Right. Amen. 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 Every time we have a need, we'll say, God help us. Yeah. That's good and we should. Yeah. How come we ain't praising him? Yeah. How come we ain't exalting him? How come we lifting him up? Right. Lift everything else in the world yes, up. You go home and see a new program and it's good, and you'll tell everybody in the church. Sure. You can't stand up and say, God, sure, he's good today. Amen. 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 That's right. Amen. Yeah. We come to church to worship. Amen. Did, did anybody here tonight would disagree with me that we come to church to worship? Anybody say, preacher, I didn't come to worship. That's not why I'm here. Go ahead, go. Nobody. You want to know how you worship God? Praise. Praise. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. how you worship. Yeah. Here's what we think. We think worship. Here's what we think. We think worship. It's whenever he sends something our way and it touches our heart and we begin to shed tears and we get emotional and we feel him in our heart. But worship uh, is when we send praise to him. Amen. Amen. That's right. What shall we praise him for? Yeah. Amen. What shall we thank him for? We'll go to our Thanksgiving meal, our meals. God help us. I ain't trying to be ugly. But we'll go to our Thanksgiving meals and we'll get somebody to pray. And say, thank you, Lord, for the food. Amen. I'll tell you something. I appreciate the food, but there's a whole lot more we can praise him for. Yes, sir. Right. Why don't you show up at your family again and say, well, glory to God. I'll tell you all something. Yeah. God's been good to me. Amen. He saved my soul. Amen. You got people in your family just like I got in mine. They're religious enough to have Thanksgiving. Sure. They don't know God. We're doing from the backside of the desert somewhere or another. Yeah. Why don't you show up and say, well, praise God. Thank you for the food, but thank you for saving an old sinner like me. Amen. 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 Why don't you show up and say, well, thank God for yeah. digging me up out of that miry clay I was in. Set my feet on solid rock and establish yeah. my goings. God help Amen. us. Amen. What shall we thank you for? <coughs> what shall we praise you for? Amen. What shall we lift up hands of praise about? What shall we lift up voices and hearts of praise about? Father, we thank you for saving us. Amen. For sealing us. For securing us. Amen. For settling us. Yeah. And because we're so special to you. Amen. Amen. So Amen. Now to close the pastor's coming. Thank you for the opportunity. I want to ask you this. I've heard it over the past. I want to ask you this. Maybe there's somebody here tonight. If you just be honest between you and God, thankful to say the word for us today. It's got down to that. Lord, thank you for the food. Amen. Let's eat. That's where we're at. Lord, keep it. Now lay me down to sleep. Keep me safe while I sleep. Amen. That's where we're at. Amen. I wonder if you just be honest, just between you and God. Say, you know what? I need to get on the altar and get things right with the Lord. I need to tell him I'm sorry. I ain't been thankful enough. I ain't got my heart focused on him like I ought to. I ain't got my mind and my heart focused on the Lord like I one time did and like I should. I want to be come tonight just honest between you and God. Pass your service is yours. Thank you. God help us. Amen. Somebody coming.